welcome to another glorious episode of Food Illustrator TV. Now today, I've got a really cool, quick uh, tutorial for you. We are going, I'm going to, I am going to show you how I knock down the highlight on this clock. So we're gonna go from what was there to there very quickly. Now before I get started on that, I want to uh, let you know about a new tutorial that I have coming out called Mastering Shadows. It's going to be completely free for this tutorial, but I'm going to show you how I do shadows to look more realistic or to be convincing. Uh, and there's a lot to know about shadows. Uh, composite photographers, if you are doing shadows and you're not doing them right, you're going to have floating objects and just things that don't look quite right. So we're going to talk about that in this tutorial. Also, you can go to the website and I have a new uh, page here for photography tools that rock. So these are kind of the tools that I use to create the images that I make. So also on this episode, or at least on the post, the blog post that I'm uh, having this uh, video with, or whatever you call it, I'm going to be talking a lot about um, about white space in an image, all right, and about photography critics. And those are the critics who are judging our images out there and, you know, placing an opinion on them. And sometimes that opinion has an effect on us as creatives, as photographers. And I'm going to talk a little bit about that, not in this video, but over on the blog post. So go over there, check that out. I'd love to hear what you have to say on that topic. Now let's get into this tutorial and knock down a highlight because that highlight is a, a bit irritating in my opinion. I just don't like it. You know, I don't like, it, it's not really bothersome necessarily. I just like the idea of being able to see the face of the clock and have a little bit more detail come through in this image. And it's a super minor, small little detail, but I think because of the placement of this clock, because it's in very, very close to a significant area here where a lot of uh, eye attention is going to be around this apple pie that's breaking up and that kind of thing. I think it's necessary that we draw less attention from the clock and bring more attention to this these the apple pie here. So that's what I'm going to do. So let's create a new layer here. I'm going to zoom in on our clock so we can see it really good. Get our brush tool. Make sure that we have a black brush selected and then I like to just my hardness I always like a uh, hardness level of low um, low percentage maybe uh, anywhere between lower than 30 for no reason other than just because and so we're just going to paint in over the face of this clock a nice black well that doesn't look so black let's get rid of all that That'll blacken it up. All right, that's my top secret stash there that nobody can see except for me. <laughs> and then we're gonna go to a blend mode or of overlay, and you can see what that does right there, just knocks it down really well. And then we're just gonna bring that opacity level to something that we did. All right, so I think for this image, it was around 66 for, for me. So goes from being a little bit obtrusive to showing some nice detail. Now, if you want to kind of, you know, bring in these blacks a little bit more and those type of things, you can go in here and use your blend if. I have not done this on this image, so I don't know. So let's just see what we can create here. So, you know, I don't like the blend if at all. How's that for? So I wouldn't use that at all. Um, can double up on that. Let's just see what that does. I'm just kind of goofing around here, guys. Yeah, I think, you know what? An overlay blend and six of black and 66%, I think does the trick. I don't think we can get better on that deal. So anyway, that's how I knocked down the uh, glare on this clock so you could actually bring some more detail into the clock area 
But more importantly, so we didn't distract from this fun area here where the apple pie is breaking up and things are happening over here. So you can see, distracting, not distracting. Distracting, not distracting. Let's get a little bit closer and look at that. Distracting, not distracting. Cool, huh? All right, so that's very, very easy. You can, you, you can do that technique on a lot of different types of surfaces that have uh, glare that you don't want to see or that you'd at least like to knock down, tone down just a little bit. So go out, give it a whack, see what you think. Go check out the blog post. I want to know what you think on photography critics and those people out there judging our work and what they have to say about it. So go over there to the blog post, check it out. I'll see you next time on Photillustrator TV. Thank you.